Hello and welcome to Take Time. I am your host, Patrick Marlette, and today let's talk about an upcoming Boulder watch. Boulder is a brand that I have yet to sink my teeth into. It's a micro brand that's on the rise with a collection of unique and practical designs. Now, before we begin our review, I would like to personally thank Al over at the Wrist Fun on Instagram for sending not only one watch in for review, but two of his personal collection for me to get the full Boulder experience. In front of us, we have the Boulder Expedition as well as the Boulder Odyssey, which our review item is modeled after, and you'll see these similarities in just a second. But our current item in for review is this guy right here, the upcoming Boulder Globetrotter. As with all my reviews here on the channel, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So let's talk Boulder. The Boulder Globetrotter is 44 millimeters in diameter and measures 50 millimeters from lug end to lug end. It is approximately 14 millimeters thick, sans the double dome sapphire crystal. It's more like 15 millimeters thick if you're measuring to the top of that and has 22 millimeter lug widths. The case and clasp material are of course stainless steel and inside beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour is an ETA 2893. It's essentially a 2892, but with the added functionality of a GMT hand. Now our first bad notes and bear in mind that this is a prototype of the model to come. However, the bezel here is unfortunately unidirectional. Now I've talked to Al about this and he stated that yes, indeed, the final production model will feature a bi-directional bezel, which all GMT bezels should be, but this here is not. And I've had plenty of GMTs in hand that didn't have bi-directional bezels, final production models. So I just had to make sure. So, so long as we see a bi-directional bezel in the finished product, this isn't such a bad note. I've never liked straps that you have to cut to size. For some reason, you feel like you're losing a little bit of your product, as you actually are, even though it's designed this way. The other issue is that when you're loaning this or simply looking to return it or sell it, the stock strap has been cut and sized to a specific diameter. You'll notice I have the extension out now, and that's because the strap will not fit my wrist otherwise. And truth be told, I hate this type of ratcheting clasp. It's not as refined as something you'd see on a Manta, where the ratcheting system is hidden behind the clasp structure. While perfectly functional, it gives the rubber strap and clasp an overall cheap appearance and feel. My final bad note is the fact that this is very large. It's essentially the Odyssey case, although 300 meters water resistant as opposed to the 500 of that diving model, but it's a big hunk of steel. If you have smaller wrists, Boulder doesn't offer an alternative that looks quite like this. And it's a shame because the ETA 2893 inside of this watch is relatively small in diameter and thinness. So they could make an alternative case for those of us who would prefer a smaller variant with this same aesthetic, but such is not the case currently. Maybe we'll see smaller variants in the future, but if you have a six and a half inch diameter wrist and under, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, even for me at seven and a quarter inch in diameter, it does wear large. So just bear that in mind. There is, however, a great variety of color options for this watch. There's green, blue, white, and of course the black version we have in front of us today. The ceramic bezel insert of the Globetrotter has this beautiful glossy sheen to match the high polished bezel, which it pairs with handsomely on this rugged case. I really do love the overall look of this piece. I'm so happy they took design cues from the Odyssey back here. You know, everything from the date display with that small applied loom plot adjacent to it, to the Ray's 24 hour track for that GMT hand is perfectly executed and work well in tandem with the design aesthetic and links of the handset. The applied indexes have a nice high polish sheen to match that of the bezels. In contrast, the matte black finishing of the dial really well here. Those indexes are adorned with BGW9 Superluminova 
to provide a nice bright luminance. This is of course a limited edition in collaboration with Divers Watches. Their badge you can see right under the seconds hand there at the six o'clock position. The overall text layout works extremely well on this dial and they've managed to balance it all out very well, which isn't always the case. Now, of course, before I give you my final verdict on the Boulder Globetrotter in black, I'm going to provide you all with a wrist shot so you can see what this will look like on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Again, if you're watching Al, thank you for sending this my way. I uh, was going to work with Boulder in the past, but unfortunately it didn't work out for us. However, I'm happy to have had a chance to experience at least a few of their watches uh, that you sent in. So thank you so much for doing that for us here on the channel. Now, gang, this is what the Boulder Globetrotter is going to look like on a seven and a quarter inch wrist for all of your admirers. And when you are going to admire it, it's going to look a little something like this. And here it is on the custom molded rubber strap. And you can see their logo off to the side there. There is, of course, a 22 millimeter bracelet option that you can get paired with this. But this is the stock strap option if you're looking just to get the watch. I have to say again, this looks really fantastic on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see that the lug length is just a little long. It's almost peeking over the sides of my wrist. And that's usually where I call it quits. If the watch is hanging off the sides of your wrist, it's just not a good look to me. Um, and that's usually a good indicator as to whether the watch is too large for you. Now, I know some people will wear those fashionably anyways, but I prefer something that fits squarely on the wrist. And, this guy really does. Now the Boulder Globetrotter is still in its pre-order phase with production models set to ship come December. So perfect for holiday season. I believe pre-order pricing ends mid-November. That price currently being 559 US dollars and at full MSRP 799. Either price being increased by 59 US if you want to get the additional shark mesh bracelet. Pricing seems fair. The case construction and design, really, really decent. And the movement, excellent. And ETA 2893 at less than $600 currently is a pretty awesome deal. If you are looking for a large rugged dive watch that can track multiple time zones, this might be the right watch for you. Otherwise, there are a ton of micro brands producing GMT watches with that same movement. So we've got a lot to pick from these days, which makes me extremely excited. But this Globetrotter has been an awesome experience. I'm so glad I had a chance to try it out. Now, gang, if you found this video enlightening or the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. If you have friends, forums, or groups that were interested in picking up a new dive watch, preferably with a GMT complication, feel free to send them this video. I know Boulder hasn't touched everyone's ears yet, so they still slip in under the radar, but this is definitely an excellent model from the group. One, in my opinion, is a must own if you wanted something that is definitely Boulder aesthetic. So feel free to share this video with them so they can get another consumer's opinion on the product. Also, if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week. So if watch content is your thing, well, guess what? I do discussions, interviews, and reviews, obviously, here on the channel. So feel free to slam that subscribe button if you're into the show. And if you'd like to see my videos precisely when they air, you can hit the bell icon just next to that. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.